Good morning, guys. You will have to excuse my appearance because I'm about to go in and get a spray tan, but, but, it is the day before Miami Dolphins cheer auditions. So, I'm sure you guys did not know that I am auditioning for the Miami Dolphins cheer. I like can't even say that because like it just feels very surreal to be auditioning for an NFL dance team basically. I feel like I'm totally incapable of doing it but you know I've been a dancer my whole life. No, I have natural ability to dance, it's just going to be not getting in my head. Um, anyway, so I'm about to go inside to get a spray tan so i'm gonna go do that but i wanted to take you guys with me um throughout the day today because i will be getting a spray tan i'm gonna be going to the choreography class tonight at their practice facility so they just kind of teach you the routine a day ahead so you can have the night to kind of prepare your routine and all that good stuff and make sure that it looks good and that you have it down so that you're not learning it the morning of because a lot of people will show up the morning of and they'll be there from 9 until 10 before auditions start teaching the routine over again so i wanted to be prepared and i've gone to like all the prep classes almost <laughs> some of the dance classes beforehand they do like a prep classes two months in advance so you start in february and then they go all the way through march and then um same with the dance classes so the last prep class was this past sunday which was a mock audition and it went okay i went okay i went out there for the freestyle and this was my first time like freestyling I guess you could say and I had practiced a routine that I put together like several times and I kind of went out there and froze like I went up there and I forgot everything I had rehearsed in my head of like moves to do I guess you could say so anyway I'm hoping and praying that that does not happen tomorrow when I go out there and that I can just kill the freestyle and kill the routine and at least get to finals like my goal is just to get past preliminaries and semifinals and just make it to finals like if I can make it to finals I'll be pretty proud of myself so I will check in with you guys later once I probably like after my spray tan and then once I'm getting ready to go to the choreography class so yeah gorgeous <laughs> after I love getting spray tans I mean this is not gonna be as dark it'll darken up a little bit and then I'll rinse it off later so it's not gonna be as prominent but you can see like how pale I was before and that only lasted like I think the last time I got a spray tan was Sunday it's now Friday so five days or so but yeah I'm gonna go to go to the grocery store now get some apples like things that I can eat for the next 24 hours that aren't like super carb filled and yeah i will keep you guys in the loop it's audition day mm -hmm. i'm on my way right now to the training facility i'm freaking out freaking out because the dance yesterday we learned the choreography last night at the class and it was really freaking hard huh I have no expectations for today. We're just gonna go with it. Try to find, put myself out there, and see how it goes. I'll check in with you guys as much as I can. I'll let you know what it's like. <laughs> Sorry I'm talking with my mouth full. I'm afraid that the light's gonna turn green. Mm -hmm. It's finished preliminary round. Woohoo! How do you feel what you did? Uh, I don't remember. Don't I don't remember? Know. <laughs> it went so fast. Yeah. It went so yeah. fast. But it was good. I think yeah. it was good. Now we're waiting for deliberations. <laughs> and starving. <laughs> do you feel that you did? I think I did good, but I'm super yeah. nervous. Yeah. I hope it's enough. Woohoo, me too. We just finished the semi-final round. We're waiting for deliberations and taking photos. All the queens. Pretty! <laughs> so cute. You guys are just gonna have to ignore the current state of my bed because I'm trying to reorganize my clothes and stuff. So I wanted to sit down and just talk to you guys a little bit about the audition because I didn't get to finish the video that day. And so I wanted to catch you up a little bit on 
what went down i'm cold that's why i'm putting on this sweatshirt in the middle of this video give me one second please okay and the sun is kind of like starting to go down so Sorry for the lines that are probably now across my face. I wanted to go over the audition a little bit. I wanted to cover kind of what got, like what prompted this whole thing, like how I decided I was going to audition, um, what the audition was like, and then what my plans are for next time. So if that doesn't give it away, no, I'm not on the team. This sunshine, I, I need to come up with a different solution, probably. Okay. So I guess that's a little bit better. So I wanted to cover that stuff with you guys, um, like what my plan is for next year, how this whole thing came about, what the audition process was like, and I show a little bit of it in the video. So I kind of went over like my preparation for the audition. Um, I filmed a little bit at the audition. So how this whole thing came about, because some of you know me, you know that I work a full-time job. I am kind of one of those people who like switches around different things. I don't switch things because I don't switch jobs, let's say, or school or directions in life because I want to do that. I switch things up because I have so many things that I'm passionate about and so many things I want to do, and I just don't know where to land the plane, if that makes sense. I don't know what idea to land on so I want to do all these different things. So right now I'm just working full time. I went through a little bit of a setback last August I want to say and so coming into the new year I was like you know what I'm in this rut I don't know how to change it what am I going to do to change it I'm going to move back to Pennsylvania that seemed like the only logical thing to do at the time don't know why. But I was like, okay, if I move back, I'll be able to fully remove myself from the situation that I'm in and kind of reset my life, I guess, a little bit and start over. And I was like thinking to myself, and I've said this for years, I have been a dancer since I could walk. I've danced my whole life. I was a cheerleader in high school. I danced for one year on my college dance team before they got rid of our dance team um because i was i went to a small private college and i've been out of dance for probably about three or so years now so i have said ever since they got rid of that dance team i was like oh maybe i'll try out to be a miami heat dancer or something um and i've said that a few different times i was like oh maybe i'll do that with dance maybe i'll do this you know whatever so when i was like oh i'll move back to pennsylvania one thing i'm gonna do as a hobby like maybe i'll try out to be um a 76ers dancer or something like that or even eagles I don't know. I ended up flying home, decided, took a job, first of all, took a job at home, accepted it, got an apartment, did the whole thing, and then I was like, something just still doesn't feel right about this decision, so I basically, I was like, okay, I have this weekend off work, so I'm gonna fly home and see how I feel about the place that I'm gonna be working, um, how I feel about moving home, like, what I think about the situation. So I flew home, I landed, and probably about mm -hmm, right when I landed, I knew in my soul that I was not meant to be in Pennsylvania, that like my creative energies just do not flow there. It's gray, it's brown, it's rainy, it's foggy, it's like that nine months out of the year, and it's cold. Like here, it's sunny, it's hot, um, there's palm trees, it's like, you know, I just feel a little more inspired here. I get to the uh, place that I was going to be working and I work in property management so I was going to be managing a property in Center City and so I got there and I was like mm, you know I'm just not feeling it I just don't feel like this is right it doesn't feel right so literally the second I left I got off the plane went to this property saw it decided I didn't want to move back and on the drive from the property to my house where I'm from in Pennsylvania. I called my boss in Florida and I said, I'm staying, I am not moving. I don't want to, I'm gonna stay in Florida. And that was it, so I didn't go back. However, I did tell myself, if I'm gonna be staying in Florida, I am not staying in this rut. I'm gonna do something. So I started Googling and I was like, oh, what can I do as a hobby other than what I already do? Cause like I'm into photography and stuff. And I, but I was like, I wanna do something that makes me feel confident because i kind of struggle with self-esteem so i was like you know what i've danced my whole life i said i was going to do miami heat or whatever maybe i could take some dance classes or something so i looked up some classes and sure enough the miami dolphins offered dance classes so 
I didn't know when auditions were. I was never planning on auditioning. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sign up for the class. It's $25. I'm gonna go. I'll just see if I can, you know, just do it as something, as a hobby, like something to enjoy. Maybe meet some friends, because I needed some more friends. Who doesn't always need more friends? And so I decided to do that. So I signed up for the class. I decided, you know, my mom was in town that day. I was off work. I was like, I'm going to go to this class by myself an hour freaking away in Miami at Hard Rock Stadium with a bunch of girls I don't know, having not danced in three years, and I'm just going to do it. So I did. And I went and... I danced and it was hard because I hadn't done choreography in a while so it was a little bit harder to pick up on the choreography but I did it and I didn't give up. We did do the little performances of the choreography. I did hide in the back because I didn't want to mess it up in front of other people. That's just my self-consciousness. But anyway, so I was like, you know what? I want to keep coming back to these just because it felt good to do. So I decided I was going to keep going back. As I kept going back, I started like, oh, maybe, you know, I do want to do this. I think I remember in the first dance class, like just sitting in the dance studio thinking to myself like, wow, I want to be a Miami Dolphins cheerleader someday. Like, I love what they stand for. I love the organization. All the girls were so sweet, and I was like, I really want to do this someday. I'm like, how can I take the steps to get there? Not this year, and I kept telling myself I'm not going to try out this year. I'm not at the weight I want to be at. I'm not at the dance level that I want to be at. And so I was like, I'm not trying out this year, but what can I do? So the coach of the Miami Dolphins cheerleaders has her own company called Pro Dance Prep. So you can sign up for the platinum levels, what I did, and I was able to work with a girl who was on the team. So if you pick the platinum level, you work with an NFL cheerleader who is on the team that you're auditioning for. So I ended up working with this girl, and after the first class, we just went over like a little palm routine, and she was like, you need to try out. Like, you are fine. You can pick it up. You clearly have natural dance skills. Now to pat myself on the back. But she was like, you definitely need to try out. It's a good experience. Just go. That way you know what to expect. But have no expectations going into it. Like, just go. Have fun. Do it. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, I am going to try out. I'm going to try out. I decided that day, and I literally signed up. After my lesson with her, I signed up for auditions, and I went. I went full force into it. So I got the costume. I took all the classes with the Dolphins as much as I could make it to because it is an hour and a half or so. Um technically away from here from where I live it takes me a lot of time it's a lot of travel time to get there so I took that and then what the Miami Dolphins do their cheer program I guess about a month and a half before auditions they do six prep classes so every Sunday they do a prep class that focuses on a different aspect of auditions so like one aspect or, or one class will be like nutrition and fitness another class will be like makeup and hair another one will be audition choreography another one is um, a mock audition like palm routines you know their style of dance so different things that literally set you up for the most success so I did those prep classes as well as many as I could make it to so I did everything I started cleaning up my diet I started working working out regularly to make sure that I was in shape. I started stretching almost every single day to make sure that my flexibility, I could get back before this audition, which I mean, I did. I was able to sit in a split at auditions, which was a far cry from where I started before auditions, but you know, I still have ways to go. Anyway, um, auditions day rolls around. That's kind of how I ended up auditioning for the team. And it was kind of like such a spur of the moment thing. I decided probably two months before that I was going to audition and I spent that whole two months kind of prepping for the audition. So that's not a lot of time after you've not danced for three years. The day of the auditions rolls around and the night before the auditions they do an auditions choreography class. So that class teaches you the dance that will be ran at semifinals. So if you make it past the first round, which is just strictly a 30 second to 45 second freestyle, you go to semifinals and semifinals is where you perform that routine. So you, I went to the class the night before, learned the routine and then auditions day rolls around. And I was like tossing and turning in my sleep. I remember at like 4 a.m. I'm waking up and I'm like, I'm not going. There is no way I'm going. Why am I doing this? Like, I'm so stupid. You're going to look stupid. There's no way you're going to make it. Um, why are you even going? Don't go. And then I said to myself, Leah, you spent a lot of time on this. You spent a lot of money on this. Just go. Like, you have nothing else to do. Your friends are working. Like, you don't have anything better to do, so just go. So I decided I was going to go. This is where I made a mistake. So if you are planning on auditioning for an NFL team or an NBA team or any dance team in general, 
make sure you eat, okay? Because I didn't eat. I had half an apple on the way to the audition and I didn't eat anything else. And I was starving and that definitely did not work in my favor at semifinals. You go in, you get your number, you get situated, you start stretching, you start like warming up and then they have, I'll insert a picture here because I took a picture of what it looks like. So it was at their training facility and there's a stage and then you have the judges panel and then behind you is where all the girls that are auditioning sit. So not only are the judges watching you, but all the people that are auditioning are watching you as well. So for some reason, I was always so nervous like leading up to this day, but once this moment this day rolled around i was not nervous at all like i was so excited i'm like i'm gonna go out there and i'm gonna freaking kill it i get up there and it's our turn to do the freestyle so you are in about a group of five girls and you go up you introduce yourself you say like your name your age where you're from and some fun fact about yourself so then you have no idea what the music is that they're gonna play the dj just starts playing the music so after all the girls introduce yourselves you kind of get into your position and then you just start going so I was like, I had rehearsed this routine that I kind of made up. Like freestyle is supposed to be you just kind of feeling the music. They just want to see that you can move. They want to see that you have rhythm. They just want to get to know you a little bit. So I, at the mock audition, I had rehearsed this like little freestyle I was going to do and completely froze. So leading up to this day, I was like, do not freeze when you get out there. Like just do something, Leah, like do something. So I had rehearsed then this freestyle routine and I went out there and I, the second the music turned on, I just started going and I did the whole routine like perfectly, not to pat myself on the back, but I was so confident. I remember like walking off the stage being like, yes, like I just did that and I can't believe I just did that. Cause like this is an NFL audition, you know, this is the best of the best. I was like, I can't even believe I'm here right now. I just crushed that freestyle. So I was pretty confident that I was going to make it to the next round, but you know, there's always that chance that you're not going to. So after that wraps up, all the girls do their freestyle and then you go into deliberation. So you just wait. So all the judges go and they deliberate, they decide who's moving on to semifinals. And then after that, they post all the numbers up on a board and then you walk over to the board, you just see if your number's there. So I walked over with one of the girls that I befriended, Juliana, and we saw our numbers. We were like, woohoo, you know, we're going to semifinals. How exciting. And it goes like that. So it's prelims, so preliminary round, semifinal round, and then finals. And then whoever makes it through finals goes to training camp for the actual season. Well, I was like, okay, semifinals, like this is the part where we have to do the routine. And I knew the routine, like I was running this routine in my sleep. I was doing it perfectly the day of. I knew the routine down pat so I wasn't too nervous about that but I was like okay hopefully I don't go up there and just start forgetting things because sometimes when I get up in front of people I'm like uh you know I just blank out so how semi-final rounds works is after you go through semi-final or you get advanced to semi-finals you get a new number and then you have to take a photo so I got a new number I got in the line I took a photo and you just stand there like in your audition uniform and you're like <laughs> so I did that got a new number took my picture and then you go straight into the line for an interview. So it's three girls at a time and there's different panels of judges. So you interview with two panels of the judges. So there's about 14 judges, three at each station or something like that. I did the interviews and I thought I answered pretty well. It was basically questions just like about yourself. Like why do you think you'd be a good fit for this team? Um, what's your dance background? Um, what are some of the things that the team does or that the organization does that you like um that you resonate with things like that so pretty easy nothing about like who's the quarterback who's the coach nothing like that so we get through the interviews and then it's time for the dance um and by this point i am literally starving because mind you i'd had half of an apple so i'm so hungry i can feel myself losing energy and with that energy i'm losing confidence because i don't feel my best because i'm hungry so i feel weak i don't feel as good so you go back to where everybody's sitting and then again in five groups you go up and there's a handful of girls that depending if you go to the, like the dance classes or the prep classes they hand out vip passes to some of the girls that they feel are going to be like a good fit so they handed out passes to probably about 12 girls i think so those 12 girls had to reintroduce themselves because they come in at semi-final round they get to skip the first round and so those girls go first, they introduce themselves, they do the routine. And so it's, you do the routine and then you do the routine two times. And then you go into doing the signature kick line and then you end in a split and then 
do their little kick line routine thing. My turn comes up. The group of girls that I'm with, one of the girls ended up not coming through to semifinals. She she made it through, but she just, I guess, decided not to proceed with the round. Sorry that the lighting's changing because the sun is going behind a cloud. I go up. We start the routine. And I forgot maybe, like... I knew the dance inside and out, but of course, like I said, I knew I was gonna blank when I get up there. And before I was feeling super nervous, I was like losing energy, losing confidence. I'm like, oh, this is just not gonna go well. I already kind of had that in my mind. So the dance went fine. I just forgot a move or two here or there, but I just picked up, kept the energy up, just like kept going, you know, made it really like, you know, I still got this. Once the dance finished, you get to pause for a second. The judge will say, or the MC will say, okay, now we're going to go into kick line. So then we started the kick line and we finished at the end of that session, I guess, or like at the end of that part of my audition, I felt like it could have gone either way. I was like, I could either make it or I might not because I that was definitely not my strongest performance and I knew that. Like I remember thinking afterward like what was my face doing because I was so focused on trying to keep my energy up because I was so hungry at the same time and then I'm focusing on making sure the dance is correct that I wasn't paying attention to my face and I just remember thinking like what the heck was my face doing during that so we ended up after that wrapped we ended up waiting for about an, a little over an hour for them to deliberate who goes to finals and this is where I got cut unfortunately which is fine um like I said I was happy to even make it past the first round of cuts which is the largest round of cuts um, so I was happy to get through that round having not danced in three years it just gave me that boost to like okay this is something you could do if you want to continue to do it like I said my advice eat like please eat something because it is a very long day I think I was there from about 8 30 in the morning until about 5 at night so that's how long the preliminary and semi-final rounds go so if you make it through to semi-finals you're there for till 5 p.m. until they cut for the day if you go on to finals I know they have to do more photos more interviews and then they do a solo routine it's like a whole performance a whole production thing so I'll probably go to watch that just to cheer on some of the girls that I befriended and just to see if I you know get to that round hopefully next year then I'll know what to expect so basically that is what the audition was like if any of you plan on trying out for Miami Dolphins or you plan on trying out for another team that's kind of how the process works it, it's different for every team but that's just how this one went um, and that was my experience with it so definitely eat something and just be confident because my confidence is probably the only thing like I've been a dancer my whole life so I know I I can dance that's not the problem it's you know my confidence hurt me and I knew that was gonna be the issue going into it I literally did this whole thing to build my confidence and it did but at the same time I knew that could be something that hindered me and it did I think at least and that's totally fine I'm so rooting for all the girls who made it through to finals they're all so sweet and like such great girls so they're gonna have such a well-rounded team this year um, of just really awesome people but I'm hoping to go back next year so my plan now is just to take classes throughout the year to improve my technique make sure that I am up to par on technique and just different like well versed in different dance styles so that I can go back next year with a better confidence level um, more skill and more flexibility and all that good stuff so that way next year I have a real solid chance of making this friggin team because I want to someday <laughs> I, I like would say venture to say it was never a dream of mine but having been through this process it has become a dream of mine so I'm gonna add it to the list of the many things that I want to accomplish in this lifetime but I have no idea how to do so that was a huge leap of faith for me to just go and try out and not know what to expect and just go in and make it as far as I did I was pretty proud of myself so that was my experience trying out for an NFL cheer team if you guys have any questions any other video suggestions feel free to leave that in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one bye